Hi, it's Michelle here again, and I'm going to approach an email that I got recently. I'm trying to kind of answer some emails that are more current, and I'll kind of go backwards from there. I have lots of email questions that we can approach as a topic, so this happens to be a good one because I get about this time of year, it's October right now of 2008, and about this time of year I start getting questions about how to prep for a figure competition um, coming up the next season, the following spring or fall. <clears throat> so here's an email from Audra. And it says, I'm hoping to compete in a figure uh, competition for the first time, either in May or October of next year, which is a big gap, actually. <sighs> but she's not sure yet. Most likely October. Interesting. I'm going to go at it on my own for the first several months. Just wasn't sure what to focus on. I'm currently at 26% body fat. And my dilemma is, do I focus on fat loss or muscle gain first? So there's a couple other questions within the body of the email, but that's the main one I'm going to approach right now. And um, I emailed her back and said, need a couple more pieces of information, which are her height and her body weight and how her body fat um, was measured. So she emailed me back and she is 5'10 and 181 pounds. So how I like to start answering the question of A, which figure competition do you aim for, which date, and then B, uh, what do you focus on? You have to make a uh, timeline, basically, and see how much time you've got to deal with. And then take a look at your body composition of where it is right now. So I'm doing that with her, and I haven't seen her in person, so I don't know, but I can get a much better idea, which I'll show you how I do that. Well, for figuring out a timeline, as far as when she's going to compete next, if we say October 15th, which is the middle of this month, and let's just say the May date, which should effectively be plenty of time, that you're talking seven months time. So from the middle of October to the middle of May, let's say a show date, middle of May, that gives you seven months. That's a large chunk of time to make some changes. And that obviously equals 28 weeks. Now a typical lean down for stage is about 12 weeks, especially for your first show, you want to have a 12 week window that you um, can lean down for stage in, just because it's pretty safe. You have lots of time uh, to make changes in your body fat, lowering your body fat, and you can do it relatively safely if you are starting off from a pretty decent um, place at that 12 week mark. So one to two pounds a week loss of body fat um, equals a lot of pounds by the time you get on stage. So. 12 weeks is usually what you do, because especially your first one, you're kind of getting to know what your, how your body responds. So 12 weeks gives you plenty of time to do that. So if you take the 28 weeks, which is basically what she's got, minus the 12 weeks, and I say that because during that 12 weeks prior to show, you're going to be um, not focusing on muscle building because, I mean, the first part of it can be a little bit of building depending upon how you enter that 12 week window of time. If you've got a relatively low body fat to begin with, then yeah, you can get away with waiting a little bit longer. But the average figure competitor, especially the first time, needs that 12 weeks to lean down. So I kind of take out the 12 weeks out of the program. I say, we're going to kind of reserve that for focusing on body fat loss. So that gives us 16 weeks until we hit the 12 week mark prior to show. So 16 weeks is essentially what she's going to have to make some changes in her physique as far as adding lean mass in the form of muscle. So that's a long time. So then taking a quick um, view at her um, numbers as far as what her body composition looks like, she's 181 pounds, she's 5'10", pretty tall, and she's 26% body fat. Now, 26% body fat, she had to form me, is done on a four point scale, but she gets it done by the same person each time, which in body fat, if you're using calipers, anything other than being, you know, dunked underwater or having high-tech um, ways to measure your body fat, if you're using plastic calipers and having somebody do it, then if you have the same person do it consistently, you see a trend that you're looking for, and that's really what you're looking for. If you have someone do it once and then randomly have somebody else do it and they come up with a pretty different number, you can have two, three, four, five percent um, discrepancy in the two just because it's an imperfect system. But she has the same person do it all the time, and so it's pretty consistent that it's been at 26%. So at that, we know her weight's 181, 
Just do math. 181 times 0.26 gives us a percentage. So she's got 47 pounds of body fat currently and 134 pounds of lean mass. And the lean mass is made up um, not only of some muscle, but also bones, water, tissue, that type of thing. So anything that's not fat. So she's got 47 pounds of body fat currently. So her question to me then is, since she has a relatively significant amount of body fat to lose, because your average competitor is going to get on stage at single digits as far as body fat is concerned. And I like to aim for 9% because uh, usually, like I get on stage, I look best probably at about 6%. I have one competitor now that just hit 4%. She needs to be there, so she's almost like a bodybuilder, lean, bodybuilder leanness. And I have some competitors that are 9%, sometimes even 10%, and they look great. So it depends on how you hold the body fat on your body, which is set up by genetics for the most part. Um, so I aim for 9% when you're this far because we really don't know what her physique is going to look like. But if you aim for 9%, then that's a pretty good way to, to go. And you can always adjust it as you get closer, too. So if we're going to aim for 9%, she's got a chunk of, of body fat to lose. So she asked me the question, back to the question again, what does she focus on? Since there is a significant amount of body fat to lose in this first 16 weeks, what does she focus on? Does she focus on fat loss? Does she focus on gaining lean mass? And then how much do you want to have when you start to enter this 12-week phase? So I'll answer that in the next clip.